starts at seven. I'd like to call to order the Charter Township of Oxford Planning Commission regular meeting Thursday, July 28, 2016. Would you please rise and pay your respects to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Sorry. Secretary, please note the roll. Uh, Mr. Hundwick is excused due to auto accident, I guess. Oh, boy. Uh, item four, approval of the agenda. I'll make a motion to approve the regular uh, planning commission meeting for Thursday, August 11th, 2016. I was going to support. Whoa. <laughs> for discussion, I was, I was going to make a comment, and I can do it during the ZBA report, but I have some questions and some information. Okay. Um, that's more of an agenda item, but I'd be happy to do it down there. I'll give you the I'll give you the time underneath Zoning Board of Appeals comment. Yeah. Is it related to Zoning Board of Appeals? It is exactly related. Okay, yep. then let's just do it there. Um, who seconded it? I did. Mr. Yes. Young? Curt uh, Curtis made the motion, seconded by Mr. Young. Uh, thank you for the correction on the uh, August 11th. It is not July 28th, but thank you. Any discussion of the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by stating aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Approval of minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the regular Planning Commission meeting minutes for July 14th, 2016. Support. Been moved by Curtis, supported by Mr. Spiz. Any discussion of the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by stating aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Public comments on items not. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Another, uh, I'll make a motion to approve the regular Planning Commission meeting minutes from July 28th, 2016. Support. I was doing them one at a time. Support. A, B, C. Yeah. Oh, right here, sir. Up in there. How'd you get that agenda? He has a different uh, he has a different agenda than ours. Yeah, well, I should probably work from the right agenda. I There's, suppose. Can I borrow this one? Take that one. <laughs> I'll keep you above board. Who? You got a motion and a second. Okay. For who who made the motion? I did. Mr. Curtis, who supported? I did. Mr. Spiz on the second one also. Yes. Thank you. Any discussion of the motion? Seeing none. All those in favor, signify by stating aye. 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 Those opposed. Motion carries. Good lord. Item six, public comments on items not scheduled for public hearing or on this agenda. Anybody in the public wishing to speak? Seeing none. Okay. Commissioner's comments. Mr. Curtis. Uh, Township Board, last night they recognized the Rochester Hells uh, CERT, uh, the, fire, the firefighters for volunteering at the Seymour Lake celebration. Uh, they passed a resolution to support the emergency operations plan with the state of Michigan. They approved the purchase of two AEDs for the sheriff's vehicles. We approved moving forward to this PC, the cell phone tower at Seymour Lake Park. And this Friday night, there's a charity softball game at Seymour Lake Park. The, uh, uh, the jail deputies are going to battle it out with the road patrol deputies all proceeds for the game will go to the Oakland County Sheriff's Deputy Association Benevolent Fund and that's about it thank you okay Mr. Young none at this time Mr. Berger I have none thank you Ms. Rosner yeah I just wanted to remind everybody or and I've got some flyers here if anyone wants it that that um, female that walked away from the group home on Hummer Lake is still missing uh, so there's a Facebook site where people can kind of keep up to date to find out if she's actually been found or not. And there's a um, email address too. If anybody thinks they saw her email and call the sheriff's department, all the information's on there. And so if everybody could let their neighborhoods know, all right, it's very possible she is. I need just. Can you get a uh, can you get a good shot of this before we shut the meeting down? Or can you you want me to hold it up? Can you zoom in on that? Got it? Good. Thank you. So just as an update, you know, there's, there's couple of those down. somebody matching her description that people are seeing close to town. So we just need to be there when a person that knows that she's missing, you know, 
right. that notifies us. And now that word is out, we're getting a lot more calls. So we're, I'm really hoping that something comes of this. In case you need some papers. All right, thanks. Sorry. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Mr. Spiz? Nothing. And I have nothing. Uh, public hearings, we have none. Unfinished business, 9A, final site plan, MD Hubbard Spring. I see the applicants here. Um, I'd like to apologize. We had some vacation people. Uh, my son had an emergency surgery, and I was trying to coordinate everybody, and it just, we couldn't get it worked out. So I apologize. I know you want to break ground. I know we were trying to get you in, and you guys did your work. We just couldn't meet. So uh, public apology to you. I'm sorry. So why don't you step up? Um, I think we're all pretty familiar with what you want to do. We've seen your new updated landscape plan. And uh, if you've got something to add, you can, or we can go right into consultant's letters, whatever you like to do, Ted. State your name and address for the record. Please. I'm sorry. State your name, if you're going to speak. You want to be tough? <laughs> sure. Whatever you want. My name is Ted Taylor with uh, W.J. Stewart. Charles Hubbard, Hubbard Spring Company. Nevin Hubbard, Hubbard Spring Company. Okay, gentlemen. You got, uh, you want to just, you got anything to add to what we have, or do you want to go right into consultant reviews and go from there, or what? No, I just can go and consult. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll start with uh, Mr. Sharp, your review letter. Um, we are recommending final site plan approval. I mean, they can go through the items, but really the, uh, you know, the biggest thing that they have to do there is the extension of the water line down to Oakdale. We had talked at the last planning commission meeting that we would have no objection to reviewing the engineering plan simultaneously with the uh, site plan documents, but we have not received any of those documents, just to let you know. So once they receive their final site plan approval, then they still need to submit their engineering documents as well. Okay. Um, Brian? Um, we, we did take a look at the revised landscape plan. We had no other issues with the other plans uh, previously, but um, they, they are requesting a waiver from the north, south, and west green belts. Uh, all the rest of the site is, is landscaped in compliance with the ordinance, but uh, as a part of any motion tonight, the Planning Commission will have to uh, put in the motion a waiver of those requirements. Uh, other than that, it is in substantial compliance with the ordinance, so we'd recommend final site plan approval. Uh, Brian, do you it does, does it have to be a specific uh, waiver, or can it be just stated a waiver west, north, and north, north south, and west? Es essentially, it's a it's a waiver of the north, south, and west greenbelt landscape requirements. So, just a blanket waiver is is acceptable. And as long as it, it, uh, the landscaping is installed as on the plan, then we're yeah. we're in concert with each other, right? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the fire chief's letter, I saw two items on there, I think, Knox box and no parking signs or something, I think, I, were the two? That sound right? Knox box, key vault is required, the building addition must be fire suppressed, no parking lane signs shall be posted on the far north drive. These comments are the same as our May 2nd, 2016 review. Thank you. Any, um, any issue with those, complying with any of those three letters? That's okay. Fine. All right. Uh, that's it for consultant reviews. Commissioners? I have none. I look for a motion. I move to approve the final site plan for MD Hubbard Spring parcel number 04-26-303-0. And parcel number 04-26-303. Dash zero zero nine five sixty five South Lapeer Road, zoned I one light industrial, with the following conditions: one, a landscape waiver for the north, south, and west green belts; number two, the Carlisle Wartman and Associates report letter dated seven twenty two two thousand sixteen; the Sharp Engineering report letter dated uh, July twenty first two thousand sixteen and the fire chief's letter dated June 21st, 2016. I'll support. It's been moved by Mr. Curtis, supported by Mr. Young. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by stating aye. 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 Those opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Sorry again. Good luck. Thank you. Go to work. <laughs> Go to work. Get a shovel out. Uh, no new business. 
uh, violations report? Any comments, criticisms, cheap jets? Okay. Uh, acreage lot split? We have nothing to report. Oh, well, wait. Oh, I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I guess we should report. I, I guess you should. Try. I want to keep it brief. Uh, Please. We did have the Abbey Ridge uh, uh, lot uh, division uh, proposed to us. And after reading various letters from people, everyone's in favor of it, including the attorney, as long as everything was in place. But the one key ingredient that we denied it for was there's always a condition of where that sewer has to get to Oxford Road to go east because it's temporarily going west to just fill, uh, fulfill the need right now. But if that property ever has to be developed, then we'd be out of capacity, you know, further on for Joe Cossack's piece and the rest. So when I checked with Mr. Sharp, if they had provided data to prove that those easements had been described and recorded, he said, no, they have not. So we felt it was a detriment to the community to uh, let the land division happen without the right documents in place. Perfect. So we denied it. Good work. I there agree. Nothing on parcel five. If we could see what's going on. No, there's sold. nothing. Okay. All right. And that's a key ingredient to that property. Yep. Okay. Economic Development Subcommittee, no meeting. No meeting. Going to have one in September, Jack? Yes. Okay. Gravel inspection, nothing oh. to report. Ordinance Review Subcommittee. Well, that's tricky, too. When are we going to meet? How about I schedule a meeting and I'll make it happen? Well, we... we you guys already I, met. I, we did we meet, met one but time. I, we're, um, I don't want to step in front of Mr. Ottman right now, but um, finding out we're losing Mr. Ottman in regards to who we're going to have, we, we always have the assistance from the Planning, planning and Zoning Administrator, yep. in this case, which is now Mr. Ottman currently uh, heading out. We're not... Do you know, Brian, how we're going to fill... We, we'll get yeah we future. yeah we, we do we know. we know so we know okay then we'll try to set something up and see how it goes I'll okay. talk to Mr. Dunn and okay. go from there um, that's the there, it's already in place so we'll we'll talk about that so what, in a minute okay all right what's the plan for that I don't know yet Mr. Todd's going to talk about it well is, is there something I can be doing because I mean I, I'm on the no no that you guys talking two different things but we're trying to get to the same thing we need to we need to get a meeting. I understand, yeah. but I'm willing to do it, and, and, and I don't know that anyone said that he's in charge more so than I. I'm I don't think so either. He so. used to be, well, the only reason he's speaking is because he used to be the chair from that committee. Previously, right. And you guys haven't had a meeting to re-elect a new chair yet. That's well, we. Or yeah. have you? We, we could we have, had a meeting. But we didn't. But you didn't change the, we who's the chairman? Election. No. That should have been the first thing you did at that ordinance review. Thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> You both shall be scolded for that. So why don't you guys have a meeting and elect a chair and then move forward from there would be great. How about that? Um, and don't worry about the planner. The planner will be I'm, there to I'm support. Hearing, I'm hearing your comment. Okay. And, and based on that, too, we're still needing a little feedback. I had that conversation last time. The sign ordinance is, is an issue. Some of it's going to go into the next part, but we've got that Supreme Court ruling on the signs and I sent a letter to um, Brian about that and I copied um, Mr. Bell and the chair of um, some of the others but I'm, I think that's kind of urgent and we need some direction on that. I, I think we've had a number of things that are important that we need to get cleaned up and we've kind of been waiting for everybody to get back from vacations and get this thing rolling so we need to the if if um, if we're unable to, if any member of that ordinance review subcommittee is unable to perform their duties, I can I can reallocate uh, planning commission members to support that group if we can't do it. I, I um, so by helpful. next meeting, I'm going to ask in two weeks that you guys have a meeting and decide who is the chair and when you're going to meet on a regular basis because there is a number of items that need to be cleaned up. Can we make that happen? Was that a comment to me or someone? That's a comment to the whole entire, that's Berger, Rosner, and Hunwick. When Hunwick's yeah. not here, so I'm talking to two of you right I, now. I can do something in Kay. between that period of time. All right, please let's get something scheduled and let's have a meeting. Let's elect a chair. Let's uh, get the hot topics moving. And uh, I can assure you that uh, Carlisle and Wortman will have uh, support there for that, okay? that night mm -hmm. okay
you're going to have to coordinate with them, obviously, to make sure the date works. But I understand. Okay. This. All right. Good enough? Well, you'll hear more in a minute. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, safety Path Maintenance Committee. I'm sorry, what? I had the wrong date on the agenda. Yes. So I'm going to excuse you from being late for your Safety Path and Maintenance Committee. Nothing to over. report. Oh, that's okay. I thought you heard me say that. Water and sewer. Okay, hold on to your hats. <laughs> no. Um, we continue to work on the Eastern Loop. Uh, we just have authority from Camp Oakland to explore for a well site on the camp, on, on the camp properties. And uh, we're trying to get easements and things to uh, possibly put a pump station and, and uh, wells on their property. Okay. That's water. Anything on sewer? No. Okay. Fees going up on sewer? No. Not yet. Okay. All right. Zoning Board of Appeals. Okay. Um, you have the floor. I do. We have the, well, I don't have the packet. You just confirmed that it's coming up on Monday? The 15th? Of, yeah. Okay. I guess I just, was it just that little bit that we got? Is there more? No, there should be a. When did they, when did it go out? Way before I went on vacation. Hmm. I checked my box and everything. Hmm. Okay. I might need another copy when I went in. It wasn't wasn't there. But anyways, okay, that explains some of it. That is coming up and it's regarding the the murals on there and it kind of goes back to where I was going with the ordinance review and the Supreme Court ruling and I'm really trying to get some guidance on that. I sent an email to Brian about that and actually I requested an attorney be there just because of some of this stuff. Um, the Supreme Court ruling made a big chunk of our sign ordinance unenforceable and basically anything that you have to read to determine if it's a sign, you're violating the ordinance. Any provision in our ordinance where you actually have to like look at the sign to determine if it's a sign and, and read components tells you it, it, it's, it's violating it. Basically a mural is a sign. So a lot of communities that had murals separate from their sign ordinance now can't do that because a mural is a sign as much as a sign is a sign. And it, I don't know, everything's kind of confusing with that so I was looking for a little bit of guidance on that you know especially as some of this is coming up and well, hold your thought what we're doing on that ordinance all right hold your thought for just a second Brian I thought you responded to that email I didn't respond to the email no but I clearly stated in my my memo the fact that that's what this has long been decided that symbols are signage by the Michigan uh, Supreme Court unbeknownst to things that have happened in the uh, US Supreme Court uh, with signage, but nevertheless, this came up with Big Boy. That's the case law that where this all came from and stemmed from in the state of Michigan. That the Big Boy guy, you know, the Elias guy out out in front of a Big Boy, is in fact a sign. Mm -hmm. So symbols are signs. Our ordinance does not regulate speech of signs. All it does, I mean, obviously, if it's offensive, that's a different matter. But you know. The murals that are there are advertising services that are provided therein in the building. And that is considered signage according to our ordinance, as well as the name of the business. So all of those are classified as signs, bottom line. So whether it's a, you know, and I don't want to talk about the particulars of the case really here. No, it's but, not the place to debate it, but just give yeah, me your. But bottom line is, is all of the, you know, all of the paints, the painting that has been done there is signage, bottom line. Okay. And, and a follow-up question that I'm not, you know, making a specific to this item. It's just something that this has brought up the questions because the questions I had, when you have these murals and you have this Supreme Court ruling, and maybe Brian, you can help me with this. A lot of it is now gonna be almost an off-premise sign. You could put up a mural and stuff and it's advertising something down the road and that it requires you to read it to determine. I am really lost in that concept because that, that is gonna happen. Well, a lot of communities differentiate mural signage from general signage right. in the sign ordinance section. You know, we don't differentiate the difference between a mural and an actual sign. So I understand your concern with that. Um, it could be construed as off premise, um, but, you know, nevertheless, 
all the products that you know in this particular case they're not doing that but yeah somebody could paint the side of a building you know and put um you know coca red nap drink drink, drink yeah. coca-cola sure. quarter they mile could, they could advertise a business downtown right you know and and have a streetscape of oxford and there's not much you can do about it so okay it, it, that, that's what I wondered. I mean, legally, I know you're saying that. Is there anything that's available for that? I, I looked that up and I couldn't find it. That's that was the direction. That's why I had asked in, in my letter about is there any resources that we can have? Well, I, I, it's up to Mr. Dunn to provide to provide you know the services of our legal uh, team. So you know that's that's ultimately a decision that Mr. Dunn would have to make to uh, make well, them available. Yeah, but you can't, at, at a ZBA, you can't ha you can't take in a consideration of legal opinion, right? Because they're an autonomous board. Well, well no, you can't. You can certainly, you certainly can. Well, you but not in the meeting, though. You, gotta, you can call, consult them and have their opinion available. You could. But you but don't bring them to the meeting and give their opinion, do you? Uh, yeah, they could give Some it do. verbally. Oh, yeah. I didn't think yeah, we, we used to have one that would come and yeah, write a summary for us. Yeah, you know, a lot of us. communities have their, their attorney there. All, All right. So who's the chair? So um, it's uh, Ray, uh, Butler? Butler. Yeah, it's Jim Butler. Jim Butler. And, and, and so I he would have to request the attorney. Yeah, to be I included there. him in the letter. I didn't hear anything. Yeah. So. Okay. I mean, that's really why I didn't. I didn't respond because ultimately that's a decision for Mr. Dunn. I understand where you were going with your points, and I and they were good points. I just, you know, that's not a decision that I can make. Whether it's I'm myself, either I'm there or, um, you know, Mr. Rentrop. Or no, I understand it, and, and I feel like part of it's just unfortunate because of the, the the change in the law. We're kind of stuck with an ordinance that, even on this board, we don't know which components are really enforceable or not, and then we're going to be even looking at it farther for another case. And it would be nice just to have some direction going in. I know that we're going to have to redo our sign ordinance, so I feel like we're getting caught in the middle. And I know one of the components is you don't issue a variance if or you don't issue a variance if it's the ordinance you're going to change i mean if we know we're uh, going to change the ordinance or it warrants a change in the ordinance you don't do a variance you change the ordinance to make it fit and i i, I don't know I'm just I, I don't i don't think you can make the assumption that the zoning ordinance needs to be changed it needs to be reviewed by the ordinance review subcommittee if it's if it's deemed that legally it needs to be changed um, by whether it's the township planner or the township attorney mm -hmm. then it will be modified but you have to go off of what is in front of you at the meeting, you know, what they've submitted versus what the criteria are. Whether our ordinance is fluid or it's static, you have to review it on the same merits at this point. Well, I guess my conflict comes from I'm being told as a, a planning commissioner and, you know, zoning board that parts of the law, you know, have to be changed, parts of the ordinance have to be changed. But then I'm also saying I have to enforce the ordinance. So I don't really know which which I'm sorry. I know that if I'm enforcing the ordinance and I know that that part of the ordinance is unenforceable. I don't know how you can make that statement though, that it is unenforceable. If the ordinance says that you can't have a phone number or, or, or some component on there. I mean that. I don't think it says that. I mean, well, you, I, I went you, through, there was, there were spots that I had brought out, so. But the bottom line is, is you have to respond to the request as it was submitted. Um, and if they meet the criteria to grant a variance, you grant it. If not, then you can ultimately deny it or modify, you, you know, as you see fit, what you think is approvable. Mm -hmm. And you just have to go off of what you, what the ordinance says. And bottom line is, is in that particular case, they're wall signs. No matter which way you cut it, you know we because do, we don't carve out murals as opposed to wall signage, so right. You know, and so it, graphic representation is a is a form of a sign. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Yep. So what else did you have? That was it. You said you had a bunch. That was a bunch. It's it's, it's, it's complicated. It was one item that we just discussed. I thought you had a bunch. One complicated item. Right. Uh, oh, I almost went to Mr. Spiss. We're not doing that. Village Planning Commission. Uh, there was no meeting due to the election. Okay. All right. Uh, 12A. Drop the bomb. <laughs> um, I have... Uh, I wanted to announce tonight that I have submitted my resignation to Carlisle Wartman Associates. Um, it's uh, 
was a very difficult decision for me ultimately because of uh, my my experiences here uh, and working with this commission and the staff in this township uh, which is is one of my main clients but um, I don't know exactly how the transition is going to occur because I haven't been in those discussions but um, I am resigning as of uh, August 26th and um, uh, there's that's about it what I can say at the moment but um, you know I I want to thank everyone for uh, for all the time that I've been here it's been a long long time <laughs> over 10 years and uh, you know especially working with Todd and Jack and, and Tom on the ordinance review stuff um, it's been great working with you all and, and I'm the one part of uh, this job is what I'm gonna miss the most which is working with you guys and working with the township because you know it's this is you know we almost moved our family to this community so this is a it was a big decision for me that took many months to decide and mainly because I feel an emotional investment to this community as well as a professional one so um, with that I just want to want to thank you and um, I'm sure we'll run into each other in the future at some point so. we appreciate that Brian and we appreciate your service for the for the 10 plus years um, the interim for this board uh, or commission the interim plan uh, mr. workman called me uh, he is going to be our uh, planner as he was when they first were hired on in the township and then ultimately Brian came on board after year and a half yeah, year like oh four oh five yeah something like that um, so he's going to continue he's going to come out of retirement he's going to service our community himself um, he's been actually working on the master plan mm -hmm. behind the scenes with Brian so he's going to take over the entire master plan hence that's why we did not have the master plan update uh, like we were going to have today um, that will be coming forth probably in September I don't think we're going to do it next month um, Don will be here uh, two weeks from tonight we have two items on the uh, agenda coming uh, so there will be a meeting on the 25th um, so Brian it's been a pleasure thank you well I will be here two weeks from now yep. and um, with Don so um, and that'll basically be it for me okay all right uh, mr. sharp where are you going I'm staying right here if you guys will keep me <laughs> we appreciate that okay yeah. um, well really we don't have as much faith in you but <laughs> go ahead I'm just a lowly engineer I, I don't get to do the exciting things that planners get to do at least um, you're not designing airbags so go ahead <laughs> oh. <laughs> that a is that a record just a, a couple of updates I mean you've probably seen the activity out there uh, TSC is under construction uh, they finally have all their permits in place we are having a pre-construction meeting for the site utilities on Monday um, just the 15th it will be so after that they will begin uh, putting all of their utilities in and um, the Edbridge apartments they as well finally have all of their permits in place and they began construction out there today with some water main so uh, things are are moving along with those two developments there okay Question on that hired. for um, there behind Myers is is there I mean they've been doing a lot of earth moving there yes um, is there time uh, wait a minute wait a minute behind Myers yeah between Myers Market and Street school. behind by the high school Abbey Ridge, yeah, Abbey Abbey Ridge. Ridge. Abbey Ridge oh when I think of Myers I think of the golf course behind there so okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to the side yeah, yeah, yeah I got you yeah, between yeah. Myers and the high school yeah, got, there, it. got it got it quite a bit is there a time periods that they're not supposed to be working I mean they were working all night last night like all night like in the middle of the night I was we had teams going yeah we have we have, we have uh, stated construction hours. yeah we have stated we, yeah, we have seven. stated construction now wait a minute there is a provision if they run into emergency where like they're doing a live tap or and something happens there there's there can be well wait, let's talk uh, yeah, I was I was not aware of that because they didn't begin to my knowledge they didn't begin any we were out there doing the inspection and there was no no pipe or anything going in the ground until oh, this morning was dug and stuff's going in <laughs> they were going all night long uh now i mean the township 
did issue foundation permits for those buildings so maybe it was something to do I mean, with that i just wondered because it, it was i was really surprised to um, see that going on and unless the wrc because there is a 16 inch uh, water line that runs up the up the hill there to the high school yeah um and that was one of the things that they were doing um today was trying to tap to that 16 inch that was their first thing out of the gate so maybe the drain commissioner's office was out there trying to alter some valves or do something to prepare for the uh for for the work that was going to be done today but that okay. that would be the only thing i would know of but if you see anything additional then please you know let me or mr don or somebody know and we'll we'll look into it but. okay is that it okay do you guys have anything not today Future. You interested in the master plan or upcoming? Not this, Not this master plan. They're just warming up. <laughs> okay. Do you know? Okay. okay. I just want to give you an opportunity. So if you you know, um, next next month will be the maintenance building on for the Parks and Rec on Coates Road and the cell tower going in Seymour Lake Park. That's what you're for. Okay. All right. Uh, with that, meeting's adjourned at uh, 733.